What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 10 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. This question is asking us to just find the y value when this function equals this function. The big skills that this is testing us on are finding solutions or intersections, and then we'll also need to know a little bit about how to type cubic and absolute value functions into the calculator. All right, so first, Whenever I see f of x equals g of x, and I see the two functions it gives me, there's a big buzzer going off in my head telling me that we're looking for a solution or an intersection. Now, given that one of these is a cubic function and one of these is an absolute value function, I'm going to say we want to use the calculator to find an intersection. So let's get our calculators out if you're following along with me. We're going to start in the y equals screen. And to start with, I want to type in f of x, so this will be 2x. And now here's the button that I'm going to use to type in my exponent of 3. Because if I type this in, the calculator is going to read it as an exponent of 3, and it will follow order of operations. So if I type plus 2x after that, it's going to stop the exponent at the 3. So I'll consider this one thing and then move on to the plus 2x minus 3. And down here in y2, this is negative 5 tenths times. And now to find absolute value, I press math. I go right to the number menu. And my first choice is absolute value. And this is x minus 4. I close my parentheses, make sure I've typed everything in correctly. Yep, that looks good. So I go ahead and graph this. Now, I can see that these intersect at only one point. So I'm going to go ahead and press second, and then the word calc is written above trace in yellow writing, so this will be the calculate menu. I go down to intersect, and now I can only move left or right, but I'm going to move my cursor right until it's very close to that intersection. So once it's there, I press enter for first curve, enter for second curve, enter for guess, and here's my y value, negative 1 0.75. So my y value is negative 1.75. Thank you, Texas Instruments. Except now I have to actually write this in as a gridded response answer. So let me get out my sample gridded response page. To write negative 1.75 as an answer in the gridded response page, my negative sign gets a box, my decimal point gets a box, and every number gets its own box. And then underneath my negative sign, I find my negative sign bubble and bubble that in. I find my one bubble, I find my decimal point bubble, I find my seven bubble, and I find my five bubble. So that is how we answer um, both mathematically and in the gridded response uh, part of this, a question like this, where we had to find a solution or an intersection.